good evening everyone start with one thing that i want you to remember and this is original that if you have a poor mindset you will always remain below the poverty line so it is all about our mindset i am going to talk about things which are life skills because finally as dr das said you will have the same wonderful professors coming and teaching you you will have all those analytical abilities that you will generate information and knowledge is democratized finally what remains different is you as a human being and these are the nine things that i think i can share with you and hopefully hopefully you will uh, take advantage of it the number one is embrace resilience these are the learnings that i have had in the last 26 years uh, some of it might be uh, repeat it i hope it is not but i really want you people to understand that it is very important to be resilient uh and once you are resilient you never give up and once you never give up finally you will achieve what you want to achieve so it is very important that be nice to yourself don't put too much load on yourself on the outputs just have focus on resilience and you know i lost my father quite early i lost him before i even joined four he was in the indian army and my father uh, my mother brought me up and she always told me uh, that uh, how important it is to take on challenges in life with resilience because finally it is always about self belief and self confidence if you have to work hard you need to be consistent be consistent any habit anything that you want to achieve if you do it for 21 days if you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning for 21 days you will start getting up at 5 o'clock if you want to achieve success you have to be a specialist in today's world and if you want to be a specialist you have to be at it you have to be consistent you have to ensure that by embracing consistency we cultivate the habit of excellence because we are only focused on the repetition of the thing and once you start repeating it becomes a default mode in your body like driving a car so be consistent that is the only way to work hard and that is a very practical tip that i am trying to tell you because a laborer also works very hard a ceo also works very hard but it is not important to be a ceo it is important to be a successful ceo it is very important that originality should be our strength don't change yourself harness originality so that you remain different you don't have to compete with anybody else but with your yesterday you have to be comfortable in your skin you have to be comfortable if you are dark if you are fair if you are fat if you are thin if you are fit if you are analytically strong if you are artistic if you are a singer if you are an author if you are good in sales if you are good in operations whatever you are please be comfortable in what you are and focus on originality because it is originality that will give you the competitive edge otherwise you can never have an edge over other so if you want competitive edge focus on yourself love yourself focus on originality because that is the only thing god has made and we are all very very different and once you start acquiring knowledge the way you will utilize that knowledge will be different because you will interpret it differently as dr das said the teacher is the same the students are different every student understands that perspective very differently and because they understand that perspective very differently if they utilize it from their point of view things will be very good for that particular student so it is very important that remain original be confident and be yourself harness your vulnerability we all have vulnerability uh, these are my learning my vulnerability was i came from a middle class uh, background my vulnerability was when people were wearing nice 
trousers i didn't know i used to wear a very loose trousers my vulnerability was i didn't speak very good english my vulnerability was you know i was not one of the most confident speakers but my vulnerability taught me to ask for help my vulnerability also told me to figure out that you are son of a martyr my vulnerability also told me that i can do it provided when i have a system when i have four school what four school taught me was that today wherever i am it is because of four school because my professors the environment my friends my colleagues my seniors uh, my class fellows made me so confident because whenever i asked for help i got it the only people who didn't get help was because they never asked for it because their egos were very big when you are a go giver when you add value to people's life when you help start by helping each other in your projects don't worry about anything else finally let me tell you these two years are going to pass by much faster than you think and the best friends in life that you are going to make are going to be here so try and help them work closely with them don't worry about credits here worry about credits in the corporate world because that world is very different if somebody says don't worry about credit in the corporate world that person is lying don't listen to him but with friends don't worry about credits be a go giver in the last three decades that i have been working a little less than that i would have facilitated 2 lakh people buying their homes and most of those people where i interacted i still get their good wishes and maybe 50% of the time we did not even charge them brokerages because we were building our startup so please be a go giver it always helps and it comes back in multiples it comes back in multiples second last recognize the power of emotional bonds it is very important while you are becoming successful in life and i am sure each one of you is going to be extremely successful after you pass out don't forget about the biggest strength in life which is your emotional bond whether it it is your parents your siblings your friends and the professor who added tremendous value to you and who will be adding tremendous value to you over the last two years mostly please remember we are not an artificial intelligence machine we are a bundle of nerves so anybody and everybody who comes across and says please try and control your emotions please try and not to be angry please try and you know suppress yourself you should have a very strong temperament strong temperament does not mean controlling your emotions strong temperament temperament means figuring out that you don't have a emotional outburst you don't have a nervous breakdown but if you really want to be an authentic leader who can lead people it is important that you are emotional so that people can relate with you people can figure out that you are not a selfish machine who is just trying to individually grow and not figure about anybody else last but not the least it is always about values over value i will repeat it is original values over value because value is temporary values is what our parents gave us our teachers gave us our society gave us the sanskriti of this country gave us we are a very diverse nation you know irrespective of the gender diversity and i, I and i'm a i'm a, a father of two daughters and i really feel that the discussion on gender diversity is also in my favor but i don't think it is only about gender diversity it is about taking care of the poor taking care of the needy taking care of people who have special need after that gender diversity comes just because of gender diversity we are we are we are kind of missing out on a very important aspect if an organization is gender diverse they should hire people with special needs they should hire people who are not as educated as the others because they did not get the right platform they should hire people who come from rural areas tribal areas who cannot speak good english who cannot kind of communicate and wear good clothes we are not talking about that diversity so tomorrow's leader you are going to be tomorrow's leader don't get clouded by gender diversity so my dear friends i was just writing this and i will conclude uh, my remarks as we gather here today let us remember the wisdom 
of coffee mugs and coffee mugs are everybody knows there are everybody knows about two coffee mugs one is half empty and the other is half full right the half empty is called the pessimist the half full is called the optimist but i was the empty mug i was the opportunist the beauty about empty mug is you can decide your destiny you can be positive you can look at possibilities you can put coffee in it you can put tea in it you can put fresh lime in it you can put water in it so my point is first of all you cannot be the half empty mug you can be the half positive mug half full mug but if possible be a combination of a half full mug and an empty mug be an opportunist when you go into the business world a practical thing take care of yourself without compromising on values because when you take care of self you are competitive without compromising on values then you become a leading professional a successful professional and a flag bearer of post school of management thank you so much